It is thrilling to be here, though. It's thrilling to be here. It's thrilling to be here to talk about one of my favorite topics in business, the who. Mike set it up so beautifully. You know, in, uh, you've heard the expression, you are what you eat. In business, you are who you hire. There's nothing that will uh, determine your success more than who you have on your team. Jim Collins said the most important decisions we make in business are not what decisions, but who decisions. Uh, who do I hire to run my sales group? Who do I put in charge of this process? Who, who, who? It should be the first question we ask. We know we've got an issue on our team. Why do we drag our feet on doing something about it? It's because hiring is hard. It's hard. It's hard work. It has uncertain results. 15 months this gentleman was in place and decided that, you know, they decided it wasn't going to work out. So he was cut with his $109 million severance package. Ouch! Right? I, it actually has gotten me thinking, you know, I, I messed up my career. You know, a lot of guys growing up, they want to be firemen and policemen. I was like, I want to be in business, but I wasn't specific enough. What I should have said to myself was, I want to be a failed executive with a really big compensation package. That's what I want. So we want to fix that and help you achieve a hiring success rate that looks more like 90% rather than 50%. How do we get from coin toss to a near sure thing? How do we go from 50 to 90 when you're hiring an A player? And again, that 90% of the time when I ask you a question today or when your facilitator asks you a question after in the breakout groups, the answer is going to be scorecard. That's how important it is. So I want to practice. What's the very first thing you do when practicing the A method? You build a... Hey, that was good, but all the people vacationing here didn't hear you. You build a? Yeah, now we're talking. You build a scorecard. It has these three pieces. Second piece of the process is source. Obviously, the three R's, referrals, recruiters, re researchers. This is the, the way the world has worked for a very long time. Asking people you know who are talented, who they know, is the single best way to find great people. We're going to move on to select the other giant pillar of the who method or the a method but i do want to dig into the who interview this is different than most interviews uh, it's uh, it's more of a conversation actually than an interview here's how it works it's a structured chronological interview that walks through a person's career from beginning to end second one easy question what accomplishments are you most proud of basically you're looking for them to say oh i achieved all of the outcomes on my yeah, and it's amazing. Sometimes people will say that. Well, I was hired to grow sales from 200 million to 400 million. What, a, what accomplishments are you most proud of? I got to 500 million. <laughs> and then because you, when you ask, what are your weaknesses, what do you typically hear? Strengths in disguise. That's right. What are some of your favorite answers? I'm sure you've heard some doozies in your careers. What are your weaknesses? I care too much. Oh. <laughs> If you hire me, you're going to get someone who cares too much. <laughs> I work too hard. <laughs> you're always going to be kicking me out of the office because I just can't help myself. <laughs> I mean, these are ridiculous answers, right? And I know we all know them because we've all said them somewhere in our careers. <laughs> Maybe when you got this job you're in right now. <laughs> You silenced your advantage. We had an interview that we were doing with a fellow, and we got to this question, what, you know, what were some of the low points in that job? And he was like, no, nah, good job. Good times. <laughs> yeah, it was great. I was so successful. And we said, well, surely there's something. Nope. Well, you know, I guess I, I did have a little bit of trouble because I, you know, I was in college at the time, and... Uh, I needed a little bit of extra cash, and so, uh, you know, I sold drugs. <laughs> like pharmaceuticals, you were a rep? No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I sold drugs on the street. Now, we flashed forward with this particular candidate, and as we were asking, we, we got down to this last question. Why did you leave that job? And he said, well, I had a little bit of trouble with, uh, with my boss in this case. Well, why, why is that? He said, well, I was CFO, as you know. And... Um, you know, it was bonus season, and I, I kind of changed the numbers on the, uh, you know, the bonus tables. Oh, interesting. You, how, like, why'd you do that? What would you do? Well, you know, I, <laughs> I needed to get paid, and we were short, and I knew I wasn't going to get my bonus if I didn't make this happen. 
So what did we just hear? We heard two stories that very clearly point out to a pattern, <laughs> a very clear pattern, a scary pattern about this individual's integrity and how he sees the world, his value system, probably not the best fit. Who did you work with? I love this question. Mike alluded to it. This question is all about understanding the people that the person worked with. Who was your boss? What was it like working with that boss? Now, a good answer sounds like this. Oh, yeah, I, I worked with uh, Bob. Bob was fantastic. He was a great mentor, uh, really made himself available to me. I feel like I learned a lot. Sue was amazing. She was my next boss in the next job. She really took care of me. She was kind of a sponsor for me. That's a good answer. Okay. Bad answer sounds like this. Yeah, Bob. Hmm. Yeah, Bob was a jerk. Yeah. Sue. Oh, Sue. She was a moron. Total idiot. Oh. Now, who are you if you hire this person <laughs> as their next boss? <laughs> right? If Bob's a moron and Sue's an idiot, I've got something to tell you about yourself. <laughs> You're going to get a new nickname. Why did you leave that job? This is a wonderful question because it gets at motivation. Why did you leave that job? And what you don't want to hear here is, you know, philosophical differences with my boss. If, if you can't picture it in your mind, then you don't have a good answer. So you always want to follow up. Okay, we are at time. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to be wandering around in your sessions, so good to see you. Thank you. Thank you.